Hello and welcome to this digital camera magazine video tutorial. Here we're going to show you how to introduce a lith style grain to your black and white images. Now before you start convert your color digital images to black and white using whichever technique you feel happiest with either through the channel mixer or a lot simpler is just by using adjustment layers to tweak the um, colors and the contrast of your image. Once you've done that we've got our pre-converted um, color image here to black and white we're going to just duplicate the layer then we can check back on the original uh, very quickly as we go along so if we just right click on the backgrounds layer and go duplicate layer just click OK doesn't really need renaming and we've got our duplicate next thing we're going to do is just to um, adjust the channel mixer very quickly so if we go up to image adjustments and channel mixer after clicking monochrome then adjust the values of red to 80 uh, the green to about 6 and blue to about 14 you're basically looking for the percentage values of the red green and blue to all add up to around 100 percent and then we're just going to click OK Following that, we're going to start to play around with the hue and saturation to start to colorize the image and give it that real sort of lith style look. So if we go out to image, adjustments, and then down to hue and saturation, and we've got our hue saturation uh, dialog window appears. So we just go down here, make sure we've got our preview button clicked, and we're also going to select colorize because we want all the adjustments we do to affect the image and start to color it up. The first thing we're going to do is to get that sort of sepia sort of style tone is to adjust the hue down to about 41, the saturation to about 35. And then you can adjust the lightness if it does need a little bit of lightening or darkening. But there we've got something which looks quite nice as a sepia tone. So we'll just click OK. Now the next thing we're going to do is actually to create a fill layer. So if we just uh, make a brand new layer which is completely blank, then go up to edit and fill. Then we want to select 50% grey and leave the opacity at 100%. If we click OK now, we've now completely greyed out the screen. So we need to just go over to our layer blending modes and just select overlay and you'll suddenly see that the grey layer has completely disappeared. Once you've done that we want to start to add the actual film grain so go up to filter artistic and film grain and this will bring up a massive preview of um, the grain and we can go over to the adjustment sliders on the right hand side and just to adjust the intensity of the grain. So if you want to go for the effect of a higher ISO, increase the, um, the value of the grain. If you want to increase the contrast of the grain, select the highlight area and also adjust the intensity. You really want something which um, is very random so it really does mimic the uh, film grain look and feel. Once you're happy with the amount of grain that's been created on the 50% grey layer, click OK and you'll see instantly the effect and the film grain effect that that has had on your black and white image. Now at the moment the grain is actually quite sharp, it's a little bit too computerized so we need to just soften it down a little bit and to do this we're going to use a Gaussian blur. So if we go up to filter and blur, Gaussian blur and we want to be very very subtle if you have a look at the preview window now or the preview you'll see that that's really pushed the grain a little bit too far and that's only a one pixel radius so if we just lower that to 0 0.5 and that's just sort of brought the sharpness of the grain back a little bit but not too much if we go down to 0 0.25, that's absolutely perfect. It's just taking the edge off of the um, Photoshop's grain filter gives a slightly more realistic effect for film grain. 
once you're happy with that just click OK and at the moment that's pretty good but just to finish this off and make this final few tweaks we're going to use a curve slayer and just make a very subtle adjustment just to bring out and increase the contrast of the image just slightly uh, but just to reflect that lith grain look so to do this we're going to go up to image adjustments and curves first thing we're going to do is just increase the contrast which is synonymous with the lift effect so if we just drag in the black and the white points you just want to drag them across the top across the bottom don't move them up and down just um, in towards each other and that will increase the contrast of the image and then what we want to do is just to create a very very subtle S shape and you can see how that suddenly just really starts to mimic the effect of the lith grain style once you're happy with that adjustment just click OK and then we can go Control E or Apple E just to merge that um, grey layer down onto your background copy layer just make that a little bit smaller and if we just have a look at the original image compared to our adjusted and you can really see how that has worked as an effect to create the lith grain style